Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I would like to be talking about something that is something very important for life. That how the relationship with everyone, like a friend and family, and the community and other people. So there is something, uh, uh, one special point that you really have to stick with that, how to work with the best with that, with everybody, and that you can have a good friend. And uh, there are several uh, branches in the matter, like the matter of uh, the matter of our, our walking, of our sitting, and uh, how we are responding to the other branches for the how to be uh, interact with other people. So, so the matter is that only among and uh, this is the only uh, best thing that will take us to the general. So if you remember something that Prophet Muhammad said, uh, even like more like the commentary on the hadith is like even somebody is doing a hadith, somebody does a five times prayer, and somebody is uh, very well had a taqwa, and uh, let's say his manners of talk is not good. So regardless of of, of his like so much ibadah and so much of uh, having a taqwa, but he, he doesn't know how to interact with the people. And uh, let's say for now, I'm just going to give an example, and uh, how do we people uh, respond with that? And uh, let's say somebody asks you, like, uh, there, there's a way of talk. Like, the first thing is, uh, let's say somebody asks you, hello, assalamu brother, how are you? Now, let us see how do we respond that. So there's a different types of people, they will respond according to their taqwa, according to their good manners of our tongue. That is like, Alhamdulillah, brother, I am good, how are you? So one of the people who has a problem of talking, and he could ask them, Assalamualaikum, brother, how are you? And they will respond like, do you have any problem with that? Well, why do you ask me? I'm fine. I mean, like, do you see this, this is the manner of talk that how do we need to act before. The Prophet said, regardless of how much uh, do you have a taqwa, how much do you have too much halal, and do you have too much salat, even the tahajjud. The tahajjud is the best, uh, we choose the love between the Creator and the Creator, and the person who is the in the middle of the night, showing his love uh, to the Allah, and uh, he's trying to do the but this person does not call uh, how to interact with the people and they have a bad manner. So regardless of this type of we are going to be uh, to be an empire. If the Prophet is the, the majority of the people that we do into the empire, it is because the way we use our uh, manner. In our manner, then we, the way we talk, the first thing we have to realize something. We have to have a uh, humbleness in our voice too that shows naturally a humbleness in our voice. Like for example, uh, if somebody says, as long as brother, how are you? How's everything? How's the family? How's the family? How's the family? How's the family? How's the so that shows a humbleness. And there's a way of uh, with showing um, education if somebody is asked a question and what to be to you. Okay. So that's like a real grandmother. By naturally, if you understand that, even even if yourself, I'm, I'm sure, you would not like to talk to this type of person who has a bad, rough way of talking. And definitely you would love to be friend with him. And uh, definitely you want to be alone with him and you want to stay in touch with him. The person who has a humbleness and, um, and he knows how to respond back. And he has a good interaction with people. It, it shows your humbleness. And... Uh, uh, there's a type of a people who are rich and they are very arrogant. And uh, mostly this type of people, they have a way of purchasing their problems because they don't like to be communicating like humbly because naturally they have a money and they are very rich. So basically, so when Allah gives a lot of blood, right? Allah put you in a test. Like how do we interact with, uh, how do we interact with people? 
Uh, if you might be a computer, so I am from Metro of Lukman, and I believe it's a verse number 18. It, it's a beautiful ayah where uh, Allah says, uh, Like, uh, you know how the people uh, with the, like, you turning your face and uh, twisting your face and showing your arrow again. We have to be like, you know, Allah says, uh, you're not going to be like, you know, uh, 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 destroying an eye while you're walking. You, you, you're nothing. So basically, you're nothing. You have to put yourself uh, very down, uh, hard to think of people. So let, let's check ourselves and I'm going to start my own self. How do I uh, interact with people? Am I an arrogant? Am I responding to people by. Uh, am I responding to people by like, showing an apple dust? So the, the, the step of things really starts from our, our own family members. How do we interact with our uh, parents, our brothers, our sisters, our uh, relatives? and our neighbors and it also reminds me there's a beautiful ayah uh, from the Holy Quran uh, in the Surah of Rama, uh, chapter 7, verse 33 to 36 where Allah says uh, and uh, in this beautiful word Allah is saying and especially it's a warning to that person who is being very arrogant and he is showing a, uh, an extreme uh, like a violent behavior to his family. So in, in this beautiful world, it, it's really like a test for us where Allah is saying, uh, like uh, Allah is telling to that person who is being like, uh, who is being very arrogant to his family. Allah says, uh, I'm wanting that person who has been showing like a big picture, uh, he's been very arrogant and he's been showing to be a very proud family member. And then and Allah says into the next uh, one, Allah saying, do not forget that you're going to be the loser on the day of Yama and you're going to be suffering. This is what Allah says, you're going to suffer. And Allah again says, you are going to be suffering. And then Allah says, Allah says uh, Do you think that nobody is watching you the way you're treating other people, the way you're talking to other people? So let us be like the humble. Let, let us start with our own uh, manners, how to be interact with people by our family members, by our relatives, our friends, and everyone. So, so let, let us make a promise to ourselves, so inshallah, I'll put myself. Uh, down and inshallah I will be uh, interacting with other people with a like, very uh, humbleness and uh, with a very good manners and I will not be showing a bad iflaq. That's called the iflaq actually. Uh, the the iflaq is like the type of humanity by the way we talk and by the way we walk, how do we react. Uh, when somebody's talking to us, we're not even like, yeah, I'm okay. That's like shown in our bad way. When somebody's talking, you have to respond like the way, Asalaamu brother, how are you? How is everything? As you come to the brother, how is your family? Then you think this actually shows how beautiful person you have, you have a beautiful friendship. You can think like, yeah man, what's up? Yo, yo, what's up? Don't think this comfortable language because it's like a very bad man. And we know that in the in the Jewish rule and there was number four, Allah said to his prophet, Inna kalala kumle kulkin azim, we are on the best status of manners. So nobody has the best status of uh, manners except our Prophet Sallallahu So we can't reach our Sahaba, we can't reach to them, but at least we can try. How do we interact with people? We have to show our humbleness, the way we talk. And that the, the, uh, the sign of an airman is the way we talk. That's the number one sign that shows either we have a humbleness or, or we are an arrogant. We are not giving. A, let's let's say even even a children. We can't even act to the children. Are you blind? What are you doing? We, we don't act like that. We have to talk to them. What is my son doing? What is my lovely son doing? What is my daughter doing? We have to talk to them like a friendly manner and interact them there. So so basically, it will I have a support for our friend. Allah knows that we're trying our best to do our. So inshallah, everyone promise to me.